full body decoys, essential for every do it yourself or waterfowler that needs to be able to hunt geese and ducks. Of course, you have your bag of field deek or whatever your flavor is, uh, pond decoys. And of course, you always have to have a satchel with your shells and the material. My name is Jeff Huber. I'm the designer of the duck scabbard shotgun hauler. It was uh, designed out of pure necessity and uh, has been used here now for several years by myself and a few other good buddies. I thought we'd try and uh, show the rest of the public and other serious waterfowlers what, uh, what equipment they might be missing if they're serious waterfowlers that to go out on public ground and have to hike long dis distances to get to your, your hunt. The main thing, of course, is that it can only carry your shotgun in a safe position, easily accessible at all times, carried in, through to the field, back and forth from the blind, and flooded uh, corn, timber, flooded timber, or, uh, or out on, on tidal flats. Anywhere you're in flooded water, it's an essential piece of gear. Of course, the, the main thing is when you go out to the field, you carry all this, this uh, or go out in the field, you carry all this gear and heavy decoys and you're blind and normally have a mojo duck and a, and a blind with burlap or other, other type of material to, to fit the situation. But when you come back and you have all these ducks and geese, and we don't have quite a full limit here today. We, we only have uh, five mallards and two geese. Uh, a full limit, the, the, the scabbard will carry that no problem. But this will demonstrate basically the load capacity that this unit will, will give you. And again, I don't have to make two trips back and forth to the field. When you get back to your truck and you have all your waterfowl hanging and contained, you can simply disconnect it from the actual shotgun, put your shotgun in the truck, wherever you may be putting it, take the actual game scabbard off with the, the gear and throw them in the back of the truck. As you can tell, it's pretty good load. I mean, these geese are, are graders, that's for sure, maybe giants. Uh, they're probably 15 pounds a piece. They sure feel like 20 when you're pulling them out of the field. And uh, decent, uh, good northern mallards. Hi, I just wanted to take a chance to show you the duck scabbard. Uh, I just showed all the ducks coming in from the field, how you haul your ducks, and uh, different ways you can, you can carry and, and unload the, the scabbard into your, into your vehicle. This is the scabbard as, as you would see it. Brand new out of the box, if you will, minus the shotgun. Standard 870 shotgun. Uh, this scabbard will fit virtually any pump, semi-auto, even side-by-side -side shotgun. Right now, it is not designed to, to handle an over-under. That can be done with a simple modification or a different model. But right now, it handles virtually every single-barreled uh, pump or automatic or side-by-side -side shotgun on the market. The scabbard is, is made of high-quality materials, DuPont Cordura. It will not absorb water. Uh, if, it, if it does get wet, it, it sheds incredibly fast due to its uh, somewhat of a nylon type material or Cordura material. It just does not absorb the water. Inside the scabbard, we have an uh, aircraft cable, quarter inch aircraft cable that's sewn into the middle and the front so that the front always maintains its shape. And as the scabbard gets older and gets more used, like any, any uh, holster, it, it actually starts to take form and, and shape to your, in particular, uh, shotgun. The, Unique part of the scabbard besides uh, its durability and its construction is the fact that it has a game carrier as well. It can be positioned left or right handed. The strap simply, simply unhooks from the scabbard like most game haulers. You put it over your shoulder and then the nooses come out where you actually just hook and loop a duck's head or a goose head through the lanyard itself. The strap floats, so you don't have to worry about it. if you drop it or it gets away in the water, it will float and it will maintain the flotation with the scabbard as well.